bright duty every student matters hello students my name is sanjay jain we are doing the chapter of surface areas and volumes so the next topic in this chapter is frustum of a cone right this is the term that you are hearing for the first time frustum of a cone right what is a frustum let us say you have got this cone okay this is a right circular cone right if i cut this cone with a horizontal plane right let us say i cut this from here right what is this upper part this is also a cone right this is a smaller cone if you remove this you will be left with this bottom part this part here this part is known as frustum okay so if i take this apart and show you a separate picture the frustum would look like this okay there are a lot of things of this shape that you see in your daily life like a tumbler of a water bucket right if you uh, flip it upside down it will be easier for you to visualize right this is a frustum okay this is also a frustum so now if you need to calculate the volume surface areas curved surface areas of the frustum of this cone then what you will have to do is this is a bigger cone okay if i remove this smaller cone from it i get this shape okay so what is the volume of this shape here it will be volume of this bigger cone minus volume of this smaller cone right so when we derive the formula for volume of frustum of a cone we will just subtract the volume of smaller cone from the volume of bigger cone okay similarly if you need the surface area or let us say the curved surface area of this frustum you will subtract curved surface area of this cone from the bigger cone okay so this is how you will derive the formula for these volumes and surface areas of frustum of a cone so let me tell you the what are the formulas for volume and surface areas let us say this smaller radius is r1 and this bigger one is r2 okay and height is h i am talking about this frustum it has got two circular faces one at uh, top and one at bottom let us say r1 is the radius of the top surface and r2 is the radius of bottom surface h is the height of this frustum and if l is the slant height of frustum of this cone what will be l how will you calculate l if i join this line here i am dropping this perpendicular here so this will be a triangle here right angle triangle what is this length this length is difference of radii right this r2 minus this r1 right and this height is again h so if i need to calculate l i'll just apply pythagoras theorem on this triangle l square will be equal to h square plus difference of radii square right so l will be equal to h square plus r2 minus r1 whole square right so this is how you will calculate slant height of the frustum of the cone okay so now i'll tell you the formula for volume of frustum what is the volume of a cone 1 by 3 by radius square into height right this was the volume of a cone now this time we have got frustum and we have got two radii r1 and r2 so in cone it was 1 by 3 pi r square h so this time we will replace that r square with r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 right and we will remove this sign here from here so the volume of frustum will be 1 by 
पाए आर वन स्क्वायर प्लस आर टू स्क्वायर प्लस आर वन आर टू इन टू एच ओके सो वॉल्यूम ऑफ ए कोन इज वन बाय थ्री पाए रेडियस स्क्वायर एच वॉल्यूम ऑफ ए फ्रस्टम इज वन बाय थ्री पाए आर वन स्क्वायर प्लस आर टू स्क्वायर प्लस आर वन इंटू आर टू इन टू एच ओके वेयर एच इज द हाइट ऑफ द फ्रस्टम आर वन एंड आर टू आर द रेडियाई ऑफ द बॉटम एंड टॉप सर्फेस राइट सो दिस इज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ फ्रस्टम एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट कर्व्ड सर्फेस एरिया कर्व्ड सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ फ्रस्टम वट वॉज द कर्व्ड सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ ए कोन it was pi radius into slant height right pi r l this time we have got two radii r1 and r2 and we need to find surface area of a frustum so it will be equal to pi r1 plus r2 into l okay so this is the curved surface area of a frustum with r1 and r2 as radii of the top and bottom surface and l as the slant height which can be calculated using this formula okay so this is curved surface area of the frustum now if top and bottom surfaces let us say this was r1 let us say and this is r2 so if you need to find total surface area let us say these faces are also closed okay so what will be the total surface area you will add area of this surface and this surface in curved surface area of the frustum so this face or this surface has area pi r1 square this one has got pi r2 square now you need to add these as per the demand of the question let us say you are talking about a tumbler right where base is closed but sir uh, the top surface is open so you will add just the base area in the curved surface area right so this is how you will deal with these questions i hope these formula you can memorize now okay there is certain kind of symmetry which you can uh, which will help you to remember these formula because the volume of the cone was 1 by 3 pi r square h this time we are just replacing that r square we are just replacing that r square with r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 so we are not disturbing the dimensions if you see it was 1 by 3 pi r square h right so r is a length right and we have got length square here h is also a length so effectively we have got a cube of a length right in terms of dimensions so because volume is meter cube or centimeter cube right so it is essentially product of three lengths okay in this case also you have to memorize that it is plus sign here r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 so this is a square term okay it will give you a meter square type of term and then you multiply it with another length and you will find the volume that will be in cubic meters cubic centimeters or cubic units so this this is the basic of frustum of a cone we will derive the these formula we will derive these formula in the next exercise so for this particular exercise we will not derive it right we will directly go with these formulas 